what are those? Enemies. You know why, Creepy? <laughs> Get some singers on your hands. <laughs> this would be heaven. Get singers on your hands. Come on. It's already recording. <sighs> Well, 
Adam and Eve were content with that. They had fun exploring all the trees in the garden and naming them. Oh, Adam! Come look at this tree. There are long yellow things growing from it. I don't know why, but I'm just bananas about this tree. I see you have found one with little orange balls on them. What are you going to call it? I don't know. It's just so... so orange. Well, like I said, they were happy in their garden. Then, one day, Eve was strolling through the apple orchard, which just happened to be planted near the middle of the garden, when she heard this interesting sound. Over here. Oh, what's that pssst sound? Sounds like one of the rubber trees sprung a leak. <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> er, I mean, so sorry. I have this thing for S's. Oh, you certainly are tall, multicolored, and, well, interesting looking. What? A tall snake? Oh, well, you see, snakes used to have legs. I wonder what a snake would look like standing up. <laughs> Well, anyway, the snake said to Eve, Well, thank you very much. Coming from you, that's a real compliment. So anyway, Eve, I have heard through the grapevine. Grapevines? Grapevines? Don't you just love grapes? And if you let them dry out, they become raisins. Isn't that interesting? Yes, interesting. But as I was saying, I have heard that God has forbidden you to eat from the trees of the garden. Is that true? Oh, oh no, 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 no. You, you, you got it all wrong. God said we could have any fruit we wanted, except for the fruit that comes from the tree in the middle of the garden. He said <clears throat> that not only couldn't we eat the fruit from that tree, but we couldn't touch it either, or we would die. Oh. Listen to me, Eve. I'm telling you the truth. You won't die if you eat the fruit from that tree. God just said that because he doesn't want you to be as smart as he is. <laughs> That's all. Really? Well, it is rather beautiful, isn't it? And if I eat this fruit, it will make me smart, huh? Being smart is a good thing, right? <laughs> Yes, Eve. What is it? <gasps> this looks like the fruit from the forbidden tree. This piece of fruit has a big bite taken out of it. Eve, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. And I feel smarter already. And see, the snake was right. I didn't die. Well, at least I don't think I died, <laughs> because I've never seen anything die before. <laughs> but I'm still here, and nothing's changed. Come on, Eve. Well, I don't know. Come on, Nathan. You don't want me to be smarter than you, do you? Well, if it's for you, Eve. <laughs> and so, there you have it. The story of how Adam and Eve broke the rules so they could be smarter. <laughs> Sounds pretty dumb to me. And after God found out about it and kicked them out of the garden and sent weeds and thorns and pesky mosquitoes to bother them... I'm sure they thought it was a dumb decision, too. And as for that snake, well, let's just say he's not tall anymore. He just crawls around on his belly eating dust. So you see, even though there might be something that you really, really want, breaking the rules or cheating to get it is never a smart thing to do. Isn't that right, uh, snake? Whatever, whatever you say, <coughs> don't you ever sweep these, these, these floors? Okay, it's story time. I'm going to tell you three stories about Moses. So get comfy, pull up a bean bag. Yeah.